you know, we have land here, we have this and that. Within one tenth of a second, black hole can swallow all the earth. Once it swallow the debris that it has, coupled with so many chemicals, especially hydrogen and some few, you know, or chemicals, it produces, as it swallows, it produces other creations of Allah, which is the stars. That is the black hole. It's the point of no return. It is so big. It is so massive. It is unbelievable. And because of this black hole, Albert Einstein hypothesized, you know, uh, the theory of relativity. H, H, um, yeah, the theory of, you know, Albert Einstein. He used that theory of special relativity to explain the black hole. Albert Einstein couldn't finish the explanation of the black hole until he died. So we're hoping that some intellectuals who specialize on astrophysicists will come and continue in line with the black hole. The black hole, that's what Allah said. وَإِنَّهُ لَقَسُمٌ لَوْ تَعْلَمُونَ عَزِيمٌ This is one of the biggest, biggest al-amari if you know the implication of that position. So black hole really is something that uh, is beyond our mind. It's something big, you know. Yeah. On Earth, it, we might equate it to Bermuda Triangle. Bermuda Triangle between Puerto Rico, Bermuda, and Florida. It, uh, Florida, Puerto Rico, and uh, Bermuda. So it formed that triangle. The same thing again, if you go in that area, it's the point of no return. So scientists are saying maybe it is, uh, you know, there is some kind of communication between the Bermuda Triangle and the black hole. I don't really think so, but some are thinking that that's what happened. Shall we?